Right, I'm still on this walk. A top route, and here's a good place to... They've put this here on purpose, isn't it? So you can lean your arms on it. Look, lean your arms on it to take nice panoramic photos. Over there we've got landmark and reference point which I climbed up not long ago as, so, as did Georgia and her two girls Brent Knoll oh, One of my big reference points referred to constantly when I'm out on my walks Down there we've got I think it might be St Andrew's Church, Cheddar mm -hmm. I've been in and I've photographed and videoed before now. You can hear the sound of school children. Summer holidays are over now. I've never stood here in my life by the way, not here. This is all part of the exploration I tended to do. Now when I came up back from Pretty to Bradley Cross which is down there I followed a route along there the other side of that gate I followed a route through lots of ferns and it was like a jungle at the time so now I'm just following this there was a bigger track which I will probably do another time um, but this was the one I wanted to find today, so I'm not too worried about t taking me straight up on the top there. I'm sure I'll join that track, and I've got no idea, that's why I'm doing this. The idea of this, this is video two, is to get to know the area, um, the different routes in and out. Because you never know when you might need them. Uh, what do you reckon that is? Disused swimming pool. Could be once. Long to family. Or there's another one there. Or I don't know what that could be. Who knows? And then every now and again you get like carns and things. I mean, up there, for example, there's, or it, it's probably the remains of an old barn or something, or a shed. Up there, look. Keeping eyes peeled at all times for any old crockery or anything like that of the past and that goes down all the way down there which I'm following I know I've got to come back up again at some point but this is all part of the fun <sighs> and of course back here down there I've got photographs of all these places I'm probably going to link up with the other path in a minute that takes me up following the Mendip way another way but that's Bradley Cross down there. Right, let's just do a bit about a visual, well not a visual diary, a bit of a diary of what's happening in the world. It's something like the 4th of September 2015 now. And um, there's a growing crisis, a humanitarian crisis occurring with the Syrian people, the Afghan people, well, there's loads of people around the world actually, but in particular at the moment, uh, the refugees who are trying to escape the brutality of a group called ISIS. Extreme Muslim group that want to destroy everything. They've already destroyed, I think it's called Palamira, a very ancient temple that goes back B BC. 2000 BC. They've blown it to pieces. Um, they chopped off the head of the professor that was looking after it as well. An unarmed man, a dedicated man, 40 years to his work. And they hung him from the pillars. 
children are now getting washed up on the beaches of Turkey where they're trying to escape from Greece to get into Europe. There's been some huge publicity to a little boy of three and his brother and his mother whose boat flipped over and they sank on the way to a Greek island. And um, the plight of them, it's showing the plight now of these people that are struggling to survive. Right, before we do that, I'm just looking at this. It says, Draycott, that way. Okay, Cheddar, that way. So we're going, we're not going to go down there because that's the way I came and I went down another path near that barn but I went that way instead of coming up, just up round and going this way. So before we turn off then, so there's this terrible crisis going on in the world. The European countries are being asked to take thousands, there's two point something million refugees. Um, Germany I said they're taking 800,000. We've been taking them over a period of years anyway. We've already taken 6,000 and we plan to take some from the camps. Um, I think it might be Greek camps, or where, but not the Calais people because um, in the, the, the proper camps they've been assessed as well. But of course the dilemma could be are ISIS going to jump on the back of this predicament because they vowed to invade Europe, particularly Britain, and kill us all. Now are they sending over a secret army? I know it sounds awful and they're showing pictures of children being murdered, brutalised, men being brutalised, people having their heads chopped off, people being thrown from buildings. This is real everyone and it's scary. It's getting closer. But what can we do? We've been brought up to help others. A moral duty to help others. We've, they know that as well and they're playing on that, I think. It's a very difficult thing because people are genuinely suffering. They are desperate. Just like the Huguenots were in the 17th century and I have Huguenots in my family tree. This is not a new thing. Exterminating people. <sighs> Apart from that, I've still got a hole in my tooth. Still waiting for the filling. I had a massive abscess, which I've had to take antibiotics for, which have also caused me a lot of grief. The side effects of them. But this is the first time I've been out now for quite a while. Several weeks. Nearly, I don't think I went out much in August. I might have gone to Sand Bay. Um, and that was before the antibiotics. So I've wanted to get out. Really wanted to get out because uh, the world's a mess. Really is. I don't know what can be done about it. I really don't. I don't believe really in going over there bombing people either. I, I don't know what to do about it. It just seems impossible to solve without everyone getting murdered. Right, over and out for now. I'm going to continue my beautiful walk. <laughs>